Bryceel Iglesias back with the club. Yes, finally. Oh, good God, that you know, I've had a lot of problems with. That's yeah, huge, you know, big. Um, yeah, <laughs> with uh, I was a certain guy whose initials might be AJ. Um, so I, I mean, well, AJ's a setup guy. I'm like, look, you can pitch or you don't pitch. Okay, I mean, it, what, what does it matter if you're? I mean, all right. Uh, so no, that's big. It is. Uh, Iglesias is the closer on this team, guys. So he returns from his uh, rehabilitation assignment, reinstated uh, from the injured list on Friday. That's today. And then the other good news is Shoemake is back. Now, the reason is Adrian's is on the 10-day IL. But Shoemake, and these are two guys we talked about, John, right? Vaughn, Grissom, and, and Brandon Shoemake. And we were all like, oh, one of these guys is going to be the guy. And neither one of them were the guy to start the season. But because of the injury situation, Shoemake is back up with the big club. Yeah, I'm interested in Shoemake. I really am. I am intrigued by him. Uh, as a, you know, potentially, you know, if it's going to be between these two, Vaughn's, you know, defense has been a little bit shaky, notwithstanding the fact that, you know, the ridiculous out of the, uh, you know, the slide that was uh, not called and then not challenged in Miami. Uh, but, yeah, no, I think um, Shoemaker is an interesting guy. I'm, I'm curious to see what he does at this level, given an extended opportunity. I don't know if he will, you know, but, the, you know, the, the, the bigger picture here to me, Carl, is what is going on with this Braves team that they're able to go to 22-10, and 14-3 and on the road, you know, 9-3 and in the division, and do it despite the fact that they're all dinged up all over the place. It's... I think it's a testament to Alex Anthopoulos and the vision that he has with personnel and how this has played out. I don't think most teams play this well with the injuries that have happened to this team. Most teams around the major leagues sustain the injuries we have. John, they're probably a 500 team, if not below. And and here we are just rolling guy, uh, people on the road and playing our best baseball on the, on the road. I think it's a testament to double A saying, hey, just in case, like with Shoemaker, and Vaughn Grissom, when they started at AAA to start the season, everybody was like, oh, what are they doing? They're losing their minds. Now you see the value of having them get getting some games under their belt. Shoemaker's hitting 243. He said five, five home runs, Turtle. I mean, I, I think he's producing. It's not at the level that you would like to see. He's not Dansby. But the fact is, you get these guys ready to play, and now you need them to help you win. Or is it maybe also a little bit about that guy, Snicker, and a little bit about his coaching staff? Because... They won a World Series without Ronald Acuna. They won a World Series without Mike Soroka. They've won the division titles without Mike Soroka. And by the way, I think Mike Soroka ought to be called up. There's a game coming up in this homestand Wednesday against the Red, Red Sox. Sox. And nothing against Dylan Dodd, but that seems like the perfect opportunity to give him a go. Yeah, Dodd, by the way, was optioned to make room for Iglesias today. Right. So, mm -hmm. yeah, to your point, they'll either bring him back or maybe they will give Soroka an opportunity to start there. Right, I, and I think that that's the perfect opportunity to see if Mike Soroka can go back on the hill. So, But they've done this throughout all these injuries and everything over the last course of the few years. They continue to win division titles. They continue to contend for or even win a World Series. And it says something about Snicker, and yet all the fans tend to get really angry, it seems, at Brian Snicker. He's got to go. I'm like, got to go? What are you talking about? Yeah, who's that? What, what are you saying? He won a division title with a team that had no business winning a division title, that started a run where he won one World Series, almost went to a second, he won 101 games last year, chased down the Mets, and now is 22-10 and 10 with a team that's been dinged up all over the place. I, I, I'm missing it. I really am. I mean, he's able to develop young players. It's testament to Ron Washington as to how great a coach. His coaching staff is superb. Not good, superb. It is so smooth. <laughs> Thanks, Nick. Here's the thing, though, John. It's team building. You can only play the guys that you have. Nicker is doing a great job. He's got the magical touch. There's no doubt, right? I mean, you, you think about the, the, the lineup and the first three guys in that lineup, and people go, well, why would you do that? I mean, Acuna, we've had this discussion for years. Why would you lead him off? Leave him there. I love it. It makes sense. Well, why would you have Olsen and Riley hitting third? It makes no sense. It makes perfect sense. Nicker has made the right touches, but he can only do that based on the team that has been given to him. And that is where Alex Anthopoulos comes into play. This team-building process and creating these championship-quality teams – that's all. That's double A. Now I got the players, and think about how Snit has used those guys. To your point about whether it was Soler, Rosario, pick them, Jock. But all those guys got here through shrewd moves to the general manager. And not only that, but this is a team that walked away from, for whatever reason, Freddie Freeman, true, and Dansby Swanson. Don't remind me. And they're still twenty-two and ten. And that's the great news. There's been no fall off, right? 
I, I, I'm just telling you, I, where does so where does that emanate from? Well, one of the things that emanates from is that they have really good players. And so what we get is a team that picks itself up. I mean, you want to talk about it, there's the Sean Murphy night. There is the Marcelo Zuna night. There is the great, you know, the the two home run. Every there's a night. Everybody has a night, right? Ah, oh, if you're not doing it, the next guy he'll have a night. Ah, have a night, my you know, Matt Olson. Have a night, Sean Murphy. Have a night, Marcelo Zuna. I still don't know what to do with Marcelo Zuna. I mean, obviously, over the last couple of days, we've seen the fact. Okay, maybe you can still hit a little bit, but you know, isn't it? Just, every time we see him, don't you see the video? I mean, doesn't that loop in your head? The, the what video? You talking about yeah, the, the no, Amo Zuna no, from the Braves? No, the other what? one with his wife. Oh well, come on. I, I mean, does it, doesn't no, it? no, no, it doesn't. Because I can, I can compartmentalize. I mean, maybe some people can't. I understand that people have personal lives. I don't know what Big Bo behind the glass does at home. I hope he's a good dude, but I don't know. But guess what? When he comes in here, he's a hell of an engineer. I don't know what Turtle does at home. I'm just saying, so I can compartmentalize. I'm not as long as he's in here doing his job, Turtle, I'm pointing at you. You're a hell of a dude. I don't I can I don't think about that, John. Here's the thing. Marcelo Zuna raises batting average 70 points in three days. Well, that wasn't hard. I mean, from zero, <laughs> it's pretty easy. So he went from like hitting a buck I mean, eleven to what is he now? Two, two what? Two twenty? Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah, he's he's like 180 something. Uh, right all right. Now. And speaking of Ozuna, John freaking in from Mike today. Let, let's hear this Ozuna home run because I continue to ask the question. Y'all still want to trade Ozuna? Marcelo Ozuna deep to left center. He's done it again. Another homer. Two last night and one here this afternoon. Wow. 447 <laughs> feet. Rocket. And it was still climbing. Yes. Almost 115 miles per hour off the bat. Dude, he's going to go kicking and screaming to the plane today. <laughs> so what are you saying, John? They're playing I'm, scrubs? I know. I'm saying that maybe you should trade him now. <laughs> he, you know, he's got his value. I mean, tra- hey, I got an idea. Uh, how about you just go Solaire for him? We just do that thing again. You want Solaire here? Yeah, yeah sure. Yeah, I didn't want him to leave in the first place. Right, how about a straight swap here? You know, eat the salary. You know what? We'll pay his salary. You take him. Yeah, I, I, at this point... He has no value in the outfield. You no, know, he doesn't. No, he, he doesn't. has none. You have Travis Darno and Sean Murphy. I kind of want one of those guys to DH. That's the problem here. Yeah. You need a guy that can play left field because he, just as a DH, he has very limited value because as hot as he is now, is as cold as he could be as he was at the beginning of the year. And I just don't need that. He's just so limited as a player. Yeah, I'd trade him. If I could get him, unload him, sure. Yes, I would. And maybe they will. Um, I mentioned this yesterday. I talked to some folks with the Braves, and they were like, look, we got to stay the course right now. Well, <laughs> and going into the Mi- and going to the Miami series there was no value. Like right. I don't know if three days changes that, but you got to give me some consistency, right? But going into that Miami series, nobody was picking up the phone and going, "Hey, by the way, yeah, we were watching uh, uh, Ozuna. We really like him. We want to trade for him." Nobody was making that phone call. Yeah, over Ozuna. No, I mean you weren't doing that. I mean, his batting average didn't even qualify as you know, you know, over the drunk. Driving limit. I mean, it was for crying out loud, it was 0.73. You know, why you got to bring that up? That's a whole separate incident. Oh, okay. <laughs> What's a whole separate incident? Why you got to bring that up? Why are you talking about no, old I, stuff? Seriously, I would trade him now I, because you got to find a spot for Travis Darno. Why are you bringing Travis. up old? Okay. <laughs> to me, that's the issue here. I mean, with those two, I mean, you they can't be just one plays every once every four days. I agree. This is the, this is the, uh, the, the conundrum uh, that, that the Braves have with this particular player. The good news is he's raking right now. Good news is, let's just ride this thing. Let's hope he helps us beat the O's and the Red Sox here over the next five days. Let's just keep riding this thing. But it's going to come to a head. It's got to because I don't think overall the production is going to uh, equal what we get in, in, you know, what we're paying him. I don't think it will. And so you're going to be basically overpaying for a guy that's underproducing. Mm -hmm. Most teams don't hold on to guys like that, especially this team. This team's not going to do that. I mean, we're trying to get back to a World Series. There's no reason to just say, well, we'll hold on to Ozuna just because. It's Dukes and Bell with Sports Radio 92.9 The Game. I want to go back real quick to your comment, though, before we take a break about, about uh, Snit. If, any, if, you got, if anybody hearing me right now is, like, doubting Snit or wants to, you're an idiot. Snit is brilliant. Okay, I, that's the last of our worries. We went through this whole manager and is he going to be good enough thing. And Come on. Like, I, John. Whoever is saying those things, they got to go. I mean, get them out of here. They say, they say use some common sense. <laughs> 
Well, I will say this. It is Twitter, so I guess, uh, you, you know, Braves Twitter is notorious for being Braves Twitter. Headlines brought to you by ATL Live Well. Low testosterone doesn't have to keep you down, guys. Call ATL Live Well today. Don't just live. Live well. Again, Rysel Iglesias back. He will be back in the closer's role. Thank God. Shoemake up. Adrianzo on the 10-day IL. And Little D, Darno, starts his rehab stint tonight. He will be back as well pretty soon. Hey, Carl, I have a question. Yeah, man. Do you think Brian Snicker knows who Jessica Alba is? (laughs) (laughs) He's still on that, huh? 